So what is ice cream mix? Ice cream mix is a blend of cream, milk, sugars, dairy powders, emulsifiers, and stabilizers. Different combinations of these ingredients are used depending on the desired finished product. A mix might be optimized to make a premium ice cream, a light ice cream, a frozen dairy dessert. There are several standards of identity which set legal requirements for each product category, including milk fat content, total dairy solids, and overrun requirements. Making up ice cream mix can be pretty straightforward, but lots of interesting things are happening if you zoom in close enough. The first step in making ice cream mix is to get all of the ingredients incorporated. The liquid ingredients, such as cream, skim milk, and any liquid sugars are added to a tank. Any dry ingredients, such as sugar, dry dairy powders, are added, often through what's called a powder horn. The stabilizers and emulsifiers are also added. The dry ingredients just need to be hydrated at this step in the process. The emulsifiers and stabilizers are activated with the heat of pasteurization. The ice cream mix is pasteurized to make sure it's safe to eat. There are legally defined combinations of times and temperatures that can be used. HTST, or high temperature short time, is the most common. After pasteurization, the mix is homogenized. Homogenization takes the relatively large droplets of milk fat and uses pressure to break them up into teeny tiny little droplets. The larger a droplet is, the more buoyant it is, and therefore the more it wants to float to the surface and merge with other fat droplets. This is where the saying, the cream rises to the top, comes from. We want to make sure that every scoop of ice cream gets its fair share of that cream, so we homogenize. The mix is then quickly cooled down and allowed to age for a few hours. This process allows the butter fat to partially harden. Think melted butter being put in the fridge. This seemingly simple step is surprisingly important in the ice cream making process. Basically, all of those tiny little fat droplets can stack on top of each other in a process called partial coalescence. This provides the structure that allows the ice cream mix to entrap air and transform into fluffy ice cream. If the aged mix is going to be flavored, it is typically pumped over to a mix tank where the flavors are added. Flavoring can be accomplished with a flavor base, a fruit puree, or a compound flavor. The mix can be flavored with anything from vanilla to strawberry to cheesecake. Your mix is now ready for freezing. After freezing, additional mix-in inclusions like chocolatey flakes, cookie doughs, or variegates can be added to create any flavor combination you want. Your imagination's the limit. <laughs>